My name is Marco Rosas. I am 22 years old. I live in Madera, California, and I've been doing CrossFit for two years. On August 18th, 2018, my friend Larissa Flores and I are going to enter our first ever competition in the RX Men and Women's Division. And this is our story. Perfectly good shot. Eh. That would be a full hour. How was it? Uh, <laughs> I'm tired now. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, you did it. You made it through the hard stuff. What was the worst movement? Uh, the lunges for sure. Yeah. I just hate that the gym is so stuffy. Yeah. Breathe in there. My lungs can't open up. I feel so nice, I, you know. First of five. Five lunges. <laughs>
going to get my ass kicked. And I just was scared of failing. But but I always loved training. Uh, so after the car accident, I kind of used that as an excuse to like get out of the whole competition state of mind. I just wanted to get better, like physically. So I remember that one week while we were training in MMA, we came over to this CrossFit gym here in Madeira, where I live. And uh, we, we had just done a few like weightlifting movements and I was really skinny at the time. So I was just like, all right, well, let's just, let's do some of that CrossFit stuff. See how hard it is. Everybody says that stuff is stupid hard. And I've been doing it ever since. And then Larissa joined me when she moved back from Oklahoma, which was, I want to say about two years ago now too, something like that, or a year ago. And then she wanted to get in shape. So she just started doing what I was doing. And then somewhere down the line, like it evolved and we weren't just doing it for fun anymore. We, we weren't trying to be a part of the class and we weren't trying to just be fit. I feel like now I really do it because I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. I do it because I want to see how far I can get. Because I'm so far from like the really great guys and girls in CrossFit. I'm just like, you know, I've never dedicated myself to any other sport like this, so I want to see how far I can take it with this. Mm. Yeah. What do you think is the main difference from how you were back then? And now, like, what made you see it differently? As far as what? Differently how? Like, you say you you were scared of failure and, and you didn't... Oh, yeah. What's well, different about it now? I feel more confident now. Mm. Way more confident. And I don't know if it's just because I'm older or because I'm legitimately stronger or combination of a bunch of different things but I feel way more confident now just overall I feel like if I had had this outlook on life back then I would have probably still been scared to do MMA but uh, I would have just done it I, I feel like I've taken a lot of risks I've done a lot of things just just randomly uh, in years since MMA uh, to kind of like teach me like okay you know first off even if I fail at something it's not the end of the world and second off when I try new things I'm a I can actually be pretty good at them I always had like this weird lack of confidence and belief that if I tried something for the first time in in a setting that wasn't like controlled and there were real consequences that I wouldn't like rise to the occasion that I would fall instead but mm. I found out that that's not the case you know I just realized like it's crazy because someone who doesn't know you or just met you like in the years that you've been training and stuff would probably think that you've been doing it for a long time like yeah. your whole life like <laughs> probably think like oh he's probably a wrestler he's probably in sports and all that and that's not the case not at all no yes. in high school i remember like i barely left the house yeah we would my friends and i would always play video games we would always eat carl's jr it was it was completely different the only reason that i feel i even got attracted to physical activity and stuff like that is because when we were little, uh, when we lived over here by like Avenue Nine, and we lived on a big old ranch and stuff, we used to run, we used to run around and play all the time. So, I think right after high school, I, well, I know right after high school, I was really depressed um, and really kind of like lost. I felt like I didn't have a real sense of identity, which you kind of don't right out of high school. You, you're free to like. Be yourself for once you're not in a controlled environment where people are telling you what to do 
And some people do well, other people don't. And I was just like, you know what? Okay, I want to do something completely different from what I've been doing, you know, the last four years. I don't want to be lazy anymore. But yeah, I just decided uh, after high school that I wanted to to do well. And so the first thing that <clears throat> came to mind was, well, the last time I was happy when I was a little kid was when I was just running around and playing. So the equivalent of running around and playing when you're an adult is working out. And that's, that's how I decided to start working out. 